Okay, so as we said, setup wise on this left hand side, kind of before, a mm -hmm. little bit hunched and rounded, minimal daylight there between your hands and your legs. Probably, if anything, the weight a little bit more on your toes to start with. Okay, we saw a couple of shots where you were kind of a bit tippy toed. Um, that will be encouraged as well by the movement you make in your back. So, okay, so as the club goes back now, okay, it's a little bit kind of lifty. So the club now, your head sort of going sort of, sort of through that blue line. Every now, sort of going forward, and you look a little bit. It's almost like you're gonna you're gonna jump forward off your tiptoes. Okay, almost like seeing the trainers there now as you go here. You can almost see the tip there in your shoes there. Yeah. Most of your weight now is going here. You're not really turning around the corner around your right side. Okay, so but again, as we said, all that is caused by the fact your hip line is kind of leveled off a bit much. Okay, so we could try and get some a bit more tipped over the golf ball. Okay, now you sort of set to the side of the golf ball here now. Okay, that's a better backswing. If I'm being honest, though, that hip line is a little bit on the level side. This is going to take a just practice to see what that feels like, okay? When yeah. you first do it, it's going to feel a little bit awkward and tilted, okay? So I'll put that club across your belt buckle line here, just practice doing this. Mm -hmm. so how does that almost like a bow to the golf ball kind of thing feel where you're taking your chest and your shoulders and just basically flattening down this way? What a lot of people do is they do this, they sort of, they'll put their head down, their neck down, which under a lot of strain on the body there, and get the ball, okay? so. That's a swing there. That there's a slightly better position. You sort of get a bit more tilt there. Your back is certainly, if we look at the difference in those two positions. Yeah, that's massive. That's much improved. Okay, so that's a much better tilt there with your hip lines probably somewhere around there, which is sort of certainly acceptable. And you can see another difference in that back swing, how you're able to turn a lot more and the weight now staying more on kind of, you see the trainers now, the weight seems to be sort of staying a lot more level with the feet, if anything, going to your right heel there compared to that left arm there. I mean, the difference in those two positions is that you're so much more we call deeper with your hands and you've got more behind you in terms of, I mean, the left hand's kind of over your sort of right chest area there, okay? So a lot more kind of twist and turn in the back. So, and that's gonna help the club come more from this direction, straighten out that kind of over the top, that slice, okay? But I would say do as many kind of practice swings away from the bottom. What you'll find when you first do this, because this arm is being quite we call upright or quite steep, the club, when it comes back into the golf ball now, is going to come down quite steep. It's hitting the ground is actually something you can do very easily. Mm. Okay, you can see your weight now. Both your feet are on their sort of toes. The heels are off the ground as you hit this golf ball. Okay, swinging the arms across to the left and then just not really able to rotate. And part of this is because obviously now we're swinging with speed. You said when there's a practice swing, you sometimes think you can you can turn through smoothly. Okay. When there's a ball now and we're swinging up and going across it because we're trying to send it more left. We know the ball's going to curve a bit to the right, that's a mm. given, okay, which is fine. But then you're trying to swing it left, so now your weight just goes on your toes, yeah? Mm -hmm. And when you're on your toes, there's no way you can rotate your body. I mean, you just mm -hmm. fall over. So yeah. your body's going to kind of take the, the standing up preference rather than the, the falling over preference to try and improve the strike, okay? So working on that body rotating, okay? So again, much better hip turn. We can turn to the top of the back swing. And this is kind of a really good example here. The shoulders, we can see, staying in that spine angle. You've got a nice spine angle here. The left arm now much more across your chest and, and the left hand, or the both hands, I say, deeper in the back. So, okay, and that's the position we want to try and replicate as much as you can. You're turning into this right side there, getting the club in just a better position to enable you know, to come back to the golf ball. Now, what I say it will do is it will reduce the impact on the ground so you're now going to have to start trying to swing the club to hit the ground whereas yeah. before you almost have to try and miss the ground because you're coming down so steep you go oh it's going to hurt so you almost like yeah. incorporate but oh, just miss the ground a little <laughs> bit that's more innocent that we'll just keep going but i want this to be your thinking around the goal okay so we're swinging around there and you can see your follow through there was better in this swing yeah yes there's no ball there i know that but we're making that move now and again if we do three or four practice each and every time you'll get more of a feeling of how that body should work consistently now, when we step to the golf ball, I would say your posture there looks a little bit kind of before, and then you try to sort of shuffle around to try and improve it. Mm -hmm. This is where it gets awkward and you feel a bit conscious and maybe a bit difficult to try and get in that right spot. So it's trying to build into your routine rather than I'll stand like that mm -hmm. and then I'll move into that position, try and build that in one go. So yeah. I'd probably suggest there, James, if we start off kind of feet together, just club down next to the where the ball would be and do this even in the practice swing, okay? Put the club down there and just sort of tip forward so your arms can reach the grip comfortably. So you're already in this kind of tip position 
And then the last thing you do once you've got that space is put your feet apart as you've done that. So you're building into your routine the correct setup, not just go into the ball comfortably and go, what have I got to do now? Because now you're thinking about what you're going to do, yeah? Yeah. And it sounds daft, but it's just a question of practicing the routine. And as, again, at home, if you can just stand there for sort of two or three minutes a day, just say, okay, right, I'm going to practice that. And even record yourself. If you want to say last time, record it and send it through to me. Mm-hmm. Record your routine. And what you will then do by almost like, recording it yourself and taking ownership of that, you'll watch it back and go, oh God, I've done that. And you'll see yourself doing the things that we're discussing in this video now about what you shouldn't, shouldn't be doing, okay? Because you'll be more aware of it. And go, oh, okay. And you're not going to want to send a video over going, oh, made like five mistakes. I'll delete that one, do another one. <laughs> and you'll kind of make sure you do a better one to send over to me. So it's quite a yeah. good way of sort of almost taking ownership of yourself, really. But yeah, once you get in a better position, okay, we can move that club around the ball. Now, what have you said? Generally, you'll find when the swing is in practice, it can be more exaggerated compared to where you were. So on this swing here, now, it wasn't a bad swing, but the hands haven't got quite as behind you as we'd expect. Yeah. That's not too bad. That's not a bad position there. But I would say the weight, now the trainer kind of been a bit of a giveaway there. We're moving it a little bit. Yeah. That was a bit more. The practicing, there was nothing. When we made the real swing with the ball in the way, having done the practice, it was in between those two. And that's generally kind of the way things go, is you'll find your practicing will be kind of exaggerated one way, your old swing is the other way, we're going to try and find that sweet spot. So don't be afraid to almost over-exaggerate it the other way in your practice swing to kind of to move that chain back. Okay? But yeah, in terms of strike there, okay, club coming back in, we're able to rotate a little bit on the tippy toes, as I said, because of that back swing. But at least the ball can start down the tight, as we can see there, and a decent swing towards target okay yeah. so build into that your routine i would generally sort of start the feet together yeah get the spacing from the ball first by putting the club down and getting that posture and again it's just, just, just get how to bow to the goal but it sounds to say <laughs> that. that is effectively what you are doing with the yes. goal for the body just sort of standing there and going like this as if i get i always try to say like touching your toes maybe because that's kind of how we would bend if we were trying to touch your toes you wouldn't kind of round your hip off and, and turn your pelvis underneath a lot of golfers have been told to keep the head down, the head goes down their chest, and now it is sort of like rounded off like hunch position, okay? So yeah. build that into your routine. Practice swinging more rotation, both of that right hip and shoulder, and your practice and get it going deeper and further behind you. Mm-hmm. And then step the golf ball, do your routine, and hit it. Yeah? So yeah. you're not actually thinking over the ball. So I think on a range, this stuff here, we divide with the red line. I would, if you can, obviously people will be walking back and forth on the range, do it this side. So you're actually going to do all your practice and thinking sort of here. When you cross over that line to hit a golf ball, you just hit it. Yeah. yeah. Don't try, again, if you say don't, you're always going to tend to do it, but yeah, be focused on the actual swing of the golf ball mm-hmm. down the range rather than actually, am I doing X, Y, and Z? Because, yeah, swing's yeah. too fast. You can't overthink <laughs> the golf swing, yeah. Okay, makes sense? Yeah. Good man, very good.